Hello, busy bugs. Happy Friday. I'm back with my last butterfly book for the week, which is sad because I've loved this theme so much. But because it's the last one, it's my very favorite book about butterflies. And it also incorporates another thing that we learned about a couple weeks ago. We talked about it on Monday. What was the last thing that we learned about with life cycles? What other life cycle did we study for a whole week long? Frogs, you're right. We learned about frog life cycles. Then we talked about the earth. And now we're learning about butterfly life cycles. So this book is super cool because it talks about frogs and butterflies. How cool is that? Oh, I'm so excited to read it to you guys. And I hope that you can help me with the title of this book. It's a little tricky, but I think we can do it. It has, ooh, it has sight words, it has big words. We're gonna do it, are you ready? Okay. The, k -k, what is it? Caterpillar, good. The caterpillar and the, ooh, we don't know this word. We haven't even talked about this word. That says polywog. Can you say polywog? Polywog. The caterpillar and the polywog. Polywog is another word for what? What does that look like? A tadpole. Very good. So a caterpillar and a polywog or tadpole. The author is Jack Kent and that's the only name it, that it has on the, on the front cover of our book so that tells me that he's the author and the illustrator just like you guys. When you write in your journal, remember, you are also the author, you wrote the words, and the illustrator. Very good. The Caterpillar and the Polywog by Jack Kent. Oh, look at this picture. What do we see happening here? There's the caterpillar, and what's his shadow in the background? A butterfly. We know that a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And then what about our polywog down here? The polywog, what's his shadow? A frog. Oh, that's so cool. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger. Especially hippopotamuses. But not caterpillars. Isn't that true? Like we just grow up, right? We're babies and then we get bigger and we're little kids and then we get bigger and then we're grown ups. But does a caterpillar do that? Do they just get bigger and bigger and bigger caterpillars? Do they turn into like snakes? No, right? So they, they change. Oh, yep, they turn into butterflies. Oh, beautiful butterflies, I love that. Turning into something else like that is not a thing that just anybody can do. Won't you agree with that? Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to all of her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the polywog. What fun, said the polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried away on her way looking for someone else to tell her secret to. When I wish I could grow up into something else, said the polywog. You will, said the fish. All polywogs do. Well, what am I going to turn into? The polywog asked. 
but the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. Did he find out what he's going to turn into? When I grow up, said the caterpillar who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time, when I grow up, she's told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the polywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into, the polywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, said the polywog. What fun, let's do it together. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. Or we also learned that those are called chrysalis for butterflies, right? This is the tricky part, she said. It does look pretty tricky to spin that yourself, huh? The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now, I have to close the lid, she said, and when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the polywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned, and she started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. You think the polywog's gonna be waiting a while? For a long time, nothing happened, but the polywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. Is anything happening yet? And for days and days and days, what's happening to the polywog? He's getting legs. That means he's a tadpole with legs now. He's been waiting so long, he's changing too. Do you think he noticed? At last, there was activity in the co cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. And who's this? The polywog. Let's see if the butterfly recognizes him. The polywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. Look at that. They both changed. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. Hmm, what does that mean that he was puzzled? Hmm, he was confused, right? The frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he, was proud, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog. Do you agree? Is he a handsome frog? I think so. How about that story? Is that so fun that a butterfly and a frog were friends as a polywog and a caterpillar? I love that. Thank you, BusyBugs, for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye!